Hey guys, RC here. Welcome back. Season 3, Episode 2 of our Climbing the Ladder FM20 Journeyman Save. We are with Ballatown, and uh, yep, no video today, no camera. Uh, I just got home from uh, work, spent the night out of town, and uh, I got home and one of my cats has planted himself um, firmly on my chest here and uh, does not want me moving, so... Couldn't even turn the lights on to, to film, so we just moved the camera off screen, and uh, we're just going to play some football manager. So uh, after last episode, we started off with uh, a cup win and a league win. Uh, we lost, as expected, to New Saints 2-0, uh, just not much of a challenge. Uh, Jan Dudno, uh, who typically owns us, we had a nil-nil draw, so we played them pretty tough. And then we lost to Barrytown 1-0, gave up a penalty again. Played pretty tough. Pontepred, a 3-0 win. Nick Ward from the midfield. Uh, Owain I-4 with a goal up top. And Jack Jones with a late goal to put it away. Connors Key, 5-2, dismantling. Jack Jones, a hat trick. Declan McDonald from the back line with a goal. And Ken Tipton, our right winger, with a goal. So that was a dominant performance. And then Carmathan Town, 2-0. Philip Johnson returns to the club. And this is his uh, first match uh, since returning just a couple of days prior uh, when the loan window opened. Ken Tipton goes out. So Johnson, you may remember, this is the guy that we signed. And he was going to start for us. Right? He was going to start for us. And... Then I got the pop-up that somebody wanted him on loan, and I was like, oh, okay, you know, he's young, you know, just wasn't even thinking and just had a brain fart. And, uh, yeah, let him go out on loan So uh, and then to Druids, and I couldn't get him back. So uh, he, he, he started, uh, played two, two matches uh, as starter, two off the bench, two assists, playing almost a seven for Druids. And uh, so not too bad, but we have re uh, we've really upset Druids, I think, and we have recalled him. And uh, he's got one goal and one assist in his return to action for us. Uh, if we look at him before, uh, yeah, he was he was just doing some, uh, you know, he was going to be our starter. And I, I don't know, just a brain freeze. So we are back. Um, have we done anything? Have we, let's see, that was... Cardiff was 817. I don't remember if I, when I go out of town and work, I, it's, it's, you know, uh, okay. That was last episode. Oh yes. Uh, Sean Clark. We saw, we uh, brought him in on loan from new saints. Uh, he is a right back. He can also play a little center back, but uh, he's more right backy for us. Uh, we really went out and got him due to the injuries that we sustained last episode. And uh, yeah, he's he's done. You know, he's done all right. And then he then he got hurt, pulled ankle ligaments. He's he's gonna miss two weeks total, so he's got about eight more days out. So let's get to the matches today. We are playing at home against Barrytown. They are favored. Uh, I've been going with this four four two tactic. I've been playing that hard. So Jones Jones is ineligible because this is his parent club. Uh, he just had the hat trick, so it, it hurts to lose him. And Clark is still injured, so he is out. So we're going to have Bird and I-4 up top, Johnson and Tipton on the wings, Penrith and Hemmings in the center, Wilson and Palfreyman on the back line, and Declan McDonald and Mondello Especial in the center backs, Brownhill in the goal. Palfreyman, remember, we dropped him from a wing back to a fullback on defend. And, uh, you know, I think I'm going to raise that to support just because Tipton's on attack. No, I do want that on defend, uh, especially with us being an underdog. All right, let's get to it. Hopefully we can uh, stand up to Barrytown here in the cup. We did just play them a few matches ago, lost 1-0. They're one of those teams near the top of the table that, we're just finding it really hard to uh, break through against. Fair enough. All right, a set piece. This is a good opportunity. Hemmings. Oh, he bent it, but not enough. Not like, not quite like Beckham. 
does get knocked aside, we'll take the corner out of that. Oh, Hemmings right in there. Oh, good ball into Johnson. And he puts it right into a uh, defender twice. Damn it. All right, we flub the attack. Oh, there was a good opportunity there. Let's get creative. All right, Hemmings will take the set piece again. And, oh, that was a good save. Mondello was right on the end of that ball. All right, Penrith lines up to take the corner. And Declan McDonald sends it over the net. Not quite off to the start he had last year. Remember, he led the club with 11 goals last season. A lot of highlights here in the early going. Declan, nice ball to Tipton. All right, good job finding the space. All right, play it. No, don't do that. Don't do that. All right, Bird comes back and gives an option. Good job. Penrith plays it over the top. Johnson with a nice first touch. Oh, I thought there was going to be a foul right there in the box. Uh, Tipton makes the recovery, picks up the ball back at midfield. Uh-oh, Hemming just got blown past. Grayson in some space. Uh, I don't think Declan actually fouled him. Declan was just standing there. He just stood there and he got run into. I think that was a brutal call. Oh, and it went right through. It phased right through our keeper. Mike Bing Crosby, first goal of the season. Brownhill. Maybe he just needs to eat a little more because that went right through him. That was uh, not a good job there. I'm really concerned that we did not upgrade. Let's show some passion. All right, Bird loses it, playing around with the ball. Oh, good job, I-4. Oh, he cuts it inside. And, no? Oh, I thought he was putting that ball into the six-yard box for somebody else to make a run, but it almost went off that post and into the net. That was a little bit of an unlucky bounce. All right, I-4 controls it, lays it back. Knew he wasn't going to be able to beat three people. Oh, Everett. Good job by Brownhill. Well, we got cut open really quick right there. All right, yep, just clear it out, clear it out. Let him take another corner. Better than the ball bouncing around inside the six, huh? Oh, good save by Brownhill. I tell you what, this weekend was very strange. So it's Tuesday afternoon. Uh, I am, uh, like I said, I just got home. Oh, there's a foul. Come on. Good job. Um, so, yeah, so this weekend, of course, was the first weekend of canceled football. Uh, very, very strange. Uh, even with all the American sports canceled at this point, it wasn't, it didn't hit me quite as, as hard as, as this weekend with, uh, with leads being taken, taken off the fixture list. But, um, no, good defense. And I think it is because, oh, he beat him at the near post. That was poor, poor goalkeeping. I think it was uh, due to the fact of a lot of the sports right now I don't watch. Like, I'm not big into basketball, uh, pro basketball at all. Um, yeah, I watch the scores and I check some highlights, but typically 
I don't, uh, you know, I don't watch any of the games during the regular season. Ooh, a straight red card. That was, uh, I don't know what he did, but okay. Well, that may give us an opportunity. I mean, we are playing well. We've just gotten the better luck. All right, let's sympathize. All right, and I think we're going to go to balanced. I'm just going to dial it up just a little bit. Um, baseball hasn't really started yet. Um, you know, we're in spring training, but still, ooh, that was a poor finish. So, you know, that doesn't start till the you know, till the last day of March, first, you know, April 1st. So, that really hasn't been real yet. Uh the NFL, we're not doing anything until the draft in late April or May. And, you know, so this was like really the first match that that was just like real, you know. I think Ollie Woods could, uh, you know what? Nick Ward can play. It's an attacking position, right? So he could probably replace Tipton there. Um, I4 champion. Uh, let's bring Hemmings. No, let's bring him in for Declan. So yeah, so this weekend was really the even with sports being canceled elsewhere was really the first time that I, you know, lost a game to uh, to the virus shutting things down. Let's bring Champion on. Let's bring it up to attacking. I don't. It's too little, too late. Oh, boy, boy, boy. I think goalkeeper is going to be our Achilles heel here. Oh, yeah. 3-0. But we certainly, I mean, four chances to two. I th don't think we deserved that result. But it was a disappointing result. And we'll be, you know, at least it was a cup. They prevent an upset. Now, this was the third round. I want to say we were expected to reach the quarterfinals. So that's going to hurt us a little bit. A little bit. All right, well, let's come back for the next match here, which is back in the league. We are currently sitting third in the table, and Barrytown, who just beat us, is top of the table by a shot. Uh, they're even... What's that? Six points up. Uh, three points up if you just give the Saints a win uh, in their game in hand. So, oof. They're just, you know, they're a tough team. They're a tough team. But we're hanging in there. We're playing tough. So we'll see you guys back here in a second. All right. We are back for Penricock. I uh, don't know if uh, he's going to be ready to play today, Sean Clark. But uh, we are playing uh, Penricock. And we are on the road. We are favored all right tipton pelfreyman yeah clark is still out you know what i'm gonna play neil crown today and yeah i think he's fine pelfreyman would like to have him on the bench who can i do away with turner think I can do away with him he is under 19 that might be the reason we need him there but let's try it minimum of I think that's what it is come on minimum of two so that is what it is all right so let's see do we just go that route Peters Peters could play on that right wing. But then I then I've got a really big group of people on the right side. Um 
Let's see, Ollie Woods. Tell you what, if I pull him off, then I can put. Where'd he go? Pelfer, no, Pelferman's already in there. Okay. So I need a 19 guy back in. If I put Gordon, take Hadley off, can I put. Can I put Thomas in there? In there. Let's see if it'll take that. All right. So we might be able to go that route. It's kind of weird this having to have 19-year-olds because while I do sign young players, usually I'm, I've am got the 21 to 23-year-olds are the guys that I build around. Oh, well. All right, show some passion. All right, Wilson, all the way into the box. Johnson's there. Oh, look at the one-two touch. No way. He was, no, he was not off sides. No, bullshit. No, 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 no. He was not offsides. That was a horrible call. Horrible call. Push forward. All right, here's Crown. Yeah, that was way off target. And, and why does your coach want me to make you a starter for me? Hmm. Ooh, that was, that was close. First shot on goal. Thankfully off target. Show some more passion. Our midfield is not looking good here. Oh, I saw my little cursor going into the net and I was freaking out. I was like, what? <laughs> oh, pounce on it. Yeah, yes. Phil Bird. Little heavy touch by the keeper. The bird pounces and makes it count. Very fortuitous. Oh, I feel like we should probably have more, more than just one goal, but maybe that's just me. Let's praise him. Oh, another set piece. I really feel unlucky with that uh, with that first goal. Jones, a one on two. Oh, he cuts it inside. Oh, he almost made a brilliant finish there. He almost made a brilliant finish. All right, let's see. All right. Johnson, he's playing well. Penrith, Hemmings. Let's bring Nick Ward in in the center. I think Bird has already gotten his, so let's bring... Let's bring Matthew Thomas on and give him... I've got him transfer listed, so maybe if we can get him off the mark, maybe that'll draw some suitors for his services. Uh-oh. Tipton, Jones, I'll give him a target, or don't, or don't, shit, show some passion, oh, well, that goes past, Penrith can't find a teammate with that header. They keep saying they fix. Oh, hello. Really? I thought that was an obvious trip. All right, Thomas. Thomas. Oh, uh, where's, where's, oh, come on. Jones, you got to be up there. All right, tipped in for Peters. Whoa, there was a. Luke Ailing attempt at a goal. 
If you guys have not seen the Luke Ailing goal for the Leeds Hutterfield match, you need to go find it online. It was one of the most beautiful goals you will ever see. Ever. So if you haven't seen it, go find it online. Leeds versus Hutterfield last week. Oh my God, that would have been a horrible way to lose this match. Lose lose two points. All right, Declan Peters. Nice ball out. Jones is on it. Holds it up. There's the cross. Oh, I would like one more just to feel comfortable. No, way to go after the ball. Good job. That may kill enough time. There we go. 16 to 4. I do feel that we should have probably had more than one goal, but a win is a win. And that has a 16 points, four clear of Banger City. They do have a game in hand. Uh, let's tell them that was uh, assertive. Yeah, let's tell them that. I mean, we should have we should have done better. Got to put more into the net like that. Peters makes his debut. Bird ends his goal drought. All right, where do we come back? So we're looking good. We're in we're in the European playoffs. It looks like uh, we're definitely in the first top half. So that's good. How far above seventh are we? Six points and eight goals. So basically seven points. So that is good. That's a really good run for this month. Where do we come back at? Well, we didn't watch Saints here. Do I want to come back that quick? Not really. And we just played Barrytown. Well, we didn't play them on camera. Oh, Barry Barrytown we did. Yeah, Penricock. I don't know. Where do we come back? I guess we do come back that quick. So, yeah, I'll play a couple of games. We'll come back for Saints and Cardiff, and then we'll go from there. Guys, hit that like button, subscribe, and we will see you later. Take care. Bye.